What's up? It's Dosa J here back again with another video for you guys here today. And I know it's been a super long time, or it's been a while since we've actually worked on a Del Sol or done anything on a Del Sol, but stuff are coming. There's still a few stuff. I'm just waiting for a lot of the stuff to be delivered. As you guys know, it's a whole pandemic and stuff going around, and it's pretty much slowing down everything, shipping of everything. But it's still here. It's still chilling still runs fine everything is good we're just waiting for some more parts to come in whenever they do come in why not give a small update of the car do a couple q and a's for you guys answer some of your guys questions that you guys do have or whatever you guys want me to answer as you guys know i always ask you guys to leave questions down below so that i'll answer them in the next video or whatever q and a videos i end up doing i love to give updates and take a break and you know just organize things properly so that everyone that does watch whether they're new or old timers knows exactly what's going on so as i'm sure you guys already know this whole car needs to be repainted everything needs to be done you know body wise to this thing you know fix those little areas of rust i'm pretty sure the last thing that we done to the car was do some sanding which i still need to do I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't know. I might do just a little bit more, maybe off camera. I don't think I'm going to make another part series, but I think I'm just going to do the front bumper a little bit more, focus mainly on there. The, the rest of the body doesn't really need it. I'll save that for the, the real shop to deal with that, but I want to sand that down a little bit more by myself on my own time. Uh, the headlights, a lot of haze um, in them and stuff like that. So. Of course, a video is coming soon about fixing those and restoring those, hopefully. Anybody knows where I can find these? Like, let me know. I know a lot of, and I noticed that a lot of Del Sol's don't have um, the light here on the fender. They have it up here on the uh, b on most of the bumpers I've seen. I don't know if this is like um, a JDM version of fender or something, but I've noticed that not a lot has them there. But if you guys can find me one like that that'd be super appreciative if not i might just find a total new set online so let's take things inside as for the inside of the car not too much still got to do the whole window visor thing up here um we still got to change that light if you guys know where i can find some good lights for the interior let me know um we still gotta clean this car out. I want to do that and clean out the whole inside of this car again before the winter comes because I know that once winter comes, it's gonna be really cold and way harder to actually work on the car. Another thing, the plastics. I need to find another one of this, pretty much. This centerpiece. If I can find another one, that would be great. Or if you guys know anyone that's selling any any of these, like, you can definitely let me know because I need it, I need it, I need it so bad because these ones are, are like <clears throat> beaten up so it does leak a little bit from the roof. Actually, hold on. So another thing that I do need to fix too is the um, seal up here. I think the seal is good. Like this is like the plastic or whatever you want to call it here is good. It's just because I think the rust that's right here that's allowing... Um, water to seep through and go down like when i wash it it definitely finds its way inside not on that side that side's totally fine but it's just on this side so i think i'm, I'm pretty sure it's fine it's just that this rust is kind of causing it to do so but if not then we can get the part to replace this thanks to chris fix <laughs> for that so i know how to change that so huge shout out to him Another thing that I really, 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 really want is a new set of tail lights. Like, I don't care which one it is, if it's the red and white or if it's like the regular OEM. I'm kind of thinking the regular OEM, I'm more on that side, but I want to get rid of these tail lights. These ones are so hideous. It's like throwback to the 2000s, early 2000s, Fast and Furious, which I need these gone. I am so like tired of looking at them every single time I look at the back of this car. So about the engine. It's fine. Um, we still just have, you know, a little bit of leakage through this, so I'm going to have to replace this. Um, the AC belt, 
the AC compressor belt, we do have to fix that because it's still squeaking, which means I rather have to loosen it or tighten it more. I'm not sure which one, but I'll try both. Everything else seems to be fine. I haven't really had any issues with anything else. The whole um, idling issue, I think that's pretty much fixed. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than how it was before. Um, but other than that, you guys can see it. Like, it's fine. It just needs a nice, good, thorough cleaning through this. So, of course, once it goes to the body shop, because I'm making them paint inside the bay, too. So, take all this stuff out, make all the inside all nice and clean, and throw everything back in. Um, definitely need a new intake, too. But that I'm just waiting on, you know, after the whole paint job and stuff is done done and over with you know focus on the bigger stuff first as you guys already know i love to make sure the car looks fine and everything is good before doing any mods i don't do any mods to the car until the car is at a at a point where it's just in good condition it's just ready for mods straight up so that's the right way to do it that's how i do it i don't know everybody has a different way but that's just my way of doing stuff um that's pretty much the overview of the whole car the car is fine you know it hasn't really gave me any issues or anything that i'm unaware of i do know that it does need brakes so that's still to come too like i said like i like i said before pretty much get the paint job and body work done first because that's the biggest thing and the biggest expense as i'm sure you guys know and then you know we can focus on all those smaller areas like that afterwards pretty much the little mini update on the car you know it's been fine you know it's been alive it's still here you know i haven't given up on it or anything like that so yeah just giving you guys a small teeny update <sighs> all right guys so now we're gonna end off the video with just a short q a just gonna answer some questions that you guys um left me and then um we'll close out the video here and yeah all right so first question um asks what car would you trade the del sol for i'm still i'm not sure if i would honestly I re i'm really not sure if i will even trade this car anytime soon right now i just got it and i got a complete division so i don't think this car will be going anywhere anytime soon second question what are the best first three mods to do to your car okay if we're if we're, ta if we're not talking about you know like maintenance and stuff like that because it's not really a mod but i mean Okay, excluding that, I would say, of course, you know, lower your car, then do an exhaust, and then do an air intake. I'd say those are probably the best three mods to do because they're fairly cheap. You can do them by yourself, practically. You don't really need a shop or, any, or anything to really help you to do it. So, of course, lowering your car always makes it look better. Even if it's on stock wheels, the fact that it's lower, it looks better exhaust that's the next thing you should do because obviously when your car looks a little bit more aggressive being lower you have the exhaust to match up with that and then of course you have the air intake which will you know help that engine sound a little bit more sweeter than stock so all right next question asks um if you got rid of the mazda 3 what would you get next not like a hundred percent sure of on what car i want to bring back or what car i want to buy in general i'm going through like tons i'm going through like subarus i'm going through mazdas again i'm going through mitsubishis i'm going you know i'm going through a whole bunch of cars pretty much <laughs> i'm really trying to narrow down everything another mazda or um i don't know maybe some type of honda or subaru or something but yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking about. What are your top three wheels? My top three favorite wheels. My top favorite wheel, and this may be generic, it might be the most generic like answer you guys have ever heard, and you guys always hear it all the time, but definitely those work wheels. And you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about. The ones that everybody always runs, those work meisters. They're just the most beautiful wheel created. They just look good on any car like you throw that on any car it just looks awesome it looks so sick it's just a beautifully designed wheel by work like 
They nailed it with that wheel. The second wheel will probably be like BBS uh, Le Mans or whatever it's called. I don't, I don't know the correct term for it, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. The last wheel, I would say, the wheels that TJ Hunt always gets. HRE, that's what it is. HRE wheels, that's probably my next favorite wheel too. They do everything custom, so I mean, HREs are just beautiful. Next question. How do you always self-motivate yourself and always keep a positive mindset towards anything? It's all, it's, I always say it over and over and I say it to like friends and I say it to people all the time. It's all about your mindset. And that's pretty much it. If you constantly think negative stuff, you're gonna get negative results. If you hang around with negative people, most likely you're gonna become a negative person. I don't know, there's just something about keeping a positive attitude and a positive mindset that just makes you stronger as a person and you get further in life too. Obviously, it's not something that you get overnight. It's all about your mindset, pretty much is the mor moral of the story. It's pretty much all I'm gonna answer for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a fat thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe because your subscribes mean a lot and your likes mean a lot too. I'm Dose of J and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay humble, stay blessed. Tell me, tell me, tell me